Guys, tap 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 his screen. Tap tap his screen. Tap tap his screen. Tap tap. What was the last screen that was there, Jella? What was the last screen that was there, Jella? Hmm. Tap tap. But thanks for the chat, clan. When you're moving to 30k, to go 50k. Say it to me like a 70k. To you, my people, to the Chira clan, to the Chira clan as always. Can't even mention them. Why for? What for? I don't need a lawyer. I don't need a lawyer. Hey, Chira does not need a lawyer. Chira can stand on the stand on his own. I don't need a lawyer. Oh, Chira, I, need... I don't need a lawyer. No, you know what made me get so pissed off is that some people were trying. Una jo Chira liko. Una jo ni liko ni meko api. Una jo ni liko ni mefi nywa box. Now what? We are still at 3600. We go. 3600 to go to pick a 70k. That is. Many of you have watched Chira, his interviews, and for those who still don't know what I'm talking about, there's this TikToker who is very, very um outspoken i would say very very passionate with his words and sometimes he came off a little bit disrespectful but he has a huge following meaning there are actually some people who love whatever content he's giving on tiktok what happened is he went on his platform on tiktok and say some not so good things about another tiktoker called aziad okay i'm sure you guys are familiar with aziad and what happened is Aziad went and sued Chira, right? And Chira was picked out of campus and whatever happened, happened. Chira spent four nights and three days at the police station and some are saying there were, uh, the real reason why all this was happening was like they were trying to teach him a lesson because allegedly, let me just say allegedly, oh, hmm, Aziad know a couple of people in the government. Allegedly. Anywho, uh many people came out to condemn chira saying chira you are this chira you are that but i'm like it's so easier to go about chira right uh -huh, about andrew kibi andrew kibi have disrespected everybody almost in kenya include politicians and he's untouchable well some would say oh because he's in america and nobody can like if you have it like you claim you to have it on the internet it's easier to follow him up to there and serve him papers or sue him from there, right? There's another TikToker called um, Nyako, right? But some might argue also, but Nyako don't go after just anybody until you come for her. Like, if you go for Nyako, that is how when she retaliate, honey, she will insult not only you, but your next generation to come. <laughs> <laughs> that is how brutal Miss Mamas is. All in all, I feel like Chira was targeted because she is a small fish. And they're trying to shut blogs from speaking. I understand there's so many uh, messy bloggers on the loose and they're just saying anything, include, you know, saying people died, saying people this. You know, there's some lies that even you, if you see, you are, you, 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 you are, your flesh squinch a little bit. You're like, eh, I don't know how I feel about that. You know, there's some lies that if you want to tell about someone, even if you are that bad of a person, your conscience is like, really Drizzy? Drizzy, really? All in all, uh, she, he was arrested and uh, he's out on bail of 50K and the video that I just played right there was him basically on his TikTok uh, trying to raise some funds on his legal issues and that's on that. All in all, I feel like um, he apologized, by the way. Uh, he gained a lot of po popularity now. People now are talking more about him. But I'm just saying all this might have been a blessing in this guy's for him because he was like the national topic for the past two to three days i think every station you are uh, you are on he was there giving interview uh and of course he was there just speaking and saying he's willing to of course apologize if it's not recorded and if the other party also is willing to show up but with no recordings okay but you all know that the other part is a little bit of legal hair you know what i'm saying oh. <laughs> anywho it is what it is all 
and all, I feel like Branchiro was targeted. Because there's so many bloggers who say so many bad things on the internet and nobody's... They're basically untouchable. That will make people feel like if you are outside of Kenya, they won't arrest, you know what I'm saying? That's why I'm trying to go to Europe, you know what I'm saying? So that I can be talking my ish. <laughs> anyway, just kidding. All in all, over here, our mess is a light mess, okay? We don't drug people. We don't come up with some fake uh, lies on people. We just give our tea with a little bit of mess on top, you know, like adding cherry on top and that's on that. All in all, I feel like Chira was targeted because it's a small fish and that's on that and that is just my opinion keep it classy same as let's chop it down the comment section i can't hear what you have to say about that i love you to the morning back adios